Graham here at Clashtron and following on from my series of unboxing videos here is box number three that was delivered what could these be well let's have a look at the first one and we can actually see what it is because we put it on the label so this is the HD transmitter USB and receiver kit so what's this for so here we have the transmitter and uh, let's take it out of the packaging this is for uh, extending your HDMI and USB from one location to another using your Ethernet cables so if you want to place say your UC engine somewhere else not behind the uh, the screen for example where it usually is put you can move it uh, elsewhere. So, for example, mounting it in a comms room or in a credenza elsewhere, you can do that. So, that's it in the box. We've got some connectors for there as well, but we don't need them. Here we have, so again, the box is indicated, this is the receiver. Oh, and we get some instructions here. So, we have instructions on how to mount, how to mount in a rack, what's included in the box, and how to connect the device. Here we have Obviously, our HDMI in, our audio in, USB to the device, and USB to the host if you're doing that one. Then on the rear side, uh, you can actually obviously connect it to the Ethernet port for passive pass through. Then we have obviously to the receiver on the other end. What is slightly different on this one is that we also have a power kit. So I'll show you that in a second. And again, how to connect to the receiver. So on the receiver side, we have the local power. So you just need to power one end. Here we have the receiver, and as you can see, we have the power supply here, and then the input from the receiver, that's just here. International, there we go, that's good. Lovely three pin plug out for the UK, great if you step on that. And then we just uh, hook that in there, so again there's a little latch here to pull up if you want to obviously change it. So there we have it, that's the unboxing of the uh, transmitter and receiver. And what we'll do now is, um, instead of my UC engine being over there, that side, by my desk, I'm gonna bring the UC engine here, and we're going to then run it over network, over network cable, to the other side. So I'll be back in a second. Here I have my UC engine, and this is from my Mercury series HD transmitter here. Got my uh, UC engine powered up. I've got it on the network and I have connected the USB A to micro USB to the uh, transmitter and I've also connected HDMI to the transmitter. The orange cable, which is the HD base T, is then connected to the receiver. So if we look at the guide here. And you can see I've got my USB connected here and HDMI here. On the other side, I am just using the HD base T over to the receiver. Now, let's wander over to the receiver. Here we have the Mercury setup with the receiver. So, on the receiver, I have orange cable coming in directly from the other side. I then have my USB cable connected to my Mercury and it's an auto, and then I have HDMI out up to the screen. So now what it looks like, excuse a mess, that's tomorrow's task to sort out and put a new shelf in. So I have my Hadley camera in the middle, my front of room display, and now if I do new meeting, you can see that's all ready. Let's go and do a meeting. We will use my iPad as my team's client. So I have my iPad and I've got my uh, flex room I'm going to call. And now you can see I'm now connected over the network. So what happens is, like if I unmute, one, two, one, two, we've got audio and we have video both ways. Just to prove that, you can see I have my video over there, coming from my iPad. So what happens is, when we disconnect this network cable, 
between the two. You can see we've lost connection over on the iPad. You can see there's no video, poor network. So let's reconnect this back in. And then watch the magic over here. About 30 seconds for it to boot up. You can now hear it resynchronizing. It's getting its displays. And then we're back in business. There we go. All very simple. So that's the uh, Crestron HD extenders for USB. And let's remember it's USB 2, not USB 3. So if you try and do this with a soundbar, it will fail. So uh, don't try that today. And with the Hudley IQ camera, there's a new version of firmware that you need to upload. So that runs it over USB 2. And also there's an updated firmware version uh, on these guys to make it compatible as well. So that's the HD extenders for uh, Crestron and using it in a flex environment for the UC. So it can be used in um, the Mercury range of products like I'm showing you here, uh, Mercury M150. Or it can be used in a custom series. And uh, just be aware that you can't use it with a soundbar today. That soundbar, because it's USB 3, we can do the camera, but we can't do the uh, obviously the audio. So, unfortunately, not available just yet. Um, thanks very much. Bye.